Hey everybody, it's Paula from the Real Polished Fanatic Vlog and Jewelry by RPF, which is back open. My Etsy store is open. I have a link to it in the description if you want to check that out. Um, thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me. I do appreciate you being here. I got in my um, HHC, Hella Handmade Creation, uh, order from January. Got it in the mail today, so I thought that I would do a unboxing and then a swatch fest with you. It was a pretty big order, so um, yeah, let's just go ahead and turn the camera around and we will get started. I got my Hella Handmade Creations uh, January order in the mail today. And so I thought I would do a little unboxing with you guys. I, uh, looks like a big one. I never remember what I ordered, but, uh, it looks like a lot. So let's break into it and see what all I got. I got a couple of the gummies. Those are yummy. So I think I'm a little overboard. Alright, I think that's everything. <clears throat> Let's see, where should we start? Appreciate your lack of sarcasm. Gorgeous. Ooh, this looks pretty. Sassy sauce. There's no place I like hanging with my homies. There's no place like hanging with my homies. Pretty emerald green. I see a blue shift, a lot of red. Maybe those are reflective glitter or just glitter. Gorgeous. Oh, we got Garden Path Lacquer. Pretty pink. Pink shimmer and glitter and gold glitter. Costume ball. I don't even remember what the, oh, I guess everybody has their own themes, don't they, and hella handmade. So pretty. I'll swatch these and add it to the end of this video. This one from Polish. Another pretty, looks like purple, some gold and pink glitter. This one was called Light Me Up. Looks like um, flakes that go, I see green and blue way down here on the side. I don't know if you're seeing that in the camera, but pretty. Crystal Knockout. Look at that sparkle. Pretty light purple with just, oh, so many colors of, looks like iridescent glitter. This one was called Dragon Princess. Beautiful.
all wrapped, wrapped, and then wrapped some more. <laughs> this one is a reflective glitter. You can see it sparkling there in the light from Pepper Polish. A pretty purple with a green shimmer and silver reflective glitter. It's called String Theory. All these are from Hella Handmade Creations, HHC, from January this year. Zombie Claw. Oh, I think purple is my color this month for sure. This looks like a kind of an eggplant purple with some um, pink shimmer and black uh, shreds maybe. It's called Disaster Date. What a cute uh, label on that one. And we got one from M&M. And, and this one is beautiful blue with green shimmer and hollow glitter called Wolf's Bane. This was an encore, so this one had been um, uh, for sale at a previous month, and then they can bring it back as an encore. In case you miss it. Gorgeous. And we have one from LB. This is a relatively newer brand for me. I only have a couple from this brand. This one is, oh, I got this one because look, it has these super cute butterfly shaped glitter. Can you see those? They're so cute. I've never seen butterfly shaped glitter before. Oh, it's like a gold glitter and hollow gold glitter and those gold hollow butterflies. So cute. Excited for that one. And I got one from Watcha. And this one, look at that shimmer. It has a, a color shifting shimmer or flakes or something on the side. I don't know if you're catching that. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if you're getting it in the camera, but this one's called Aquarius. Gorgeous. And we have one from um, Nailed It. Look at how pretty this box is. It's like a hollow sparkly box. That's beautiful. It has holographic flowers and writing on it. What a fun box. Mm, look at this pretty purple. Like a blue shimmer. I'm excited to swatch these. It's called Shadow Ball. Beautiful. All right, I'll be back after I get them swatched. I forgot I had this one. This is a free gift with purchase. I think if you spend $100, you get, usually you get a free gift from Hula Moon, either top or base coat kind of a thing. This one is called, oh, I can't read what that says. Helion Quick Dry Top Coat. Heliani. Maybe it's Heliani. Just a nice top coat from Lemon. That's a free gift. Hey guys. So I just taped half of this without it taping. Yes, that's my. Uh, silliness 
<laughs> so can't really redo it because I already have um, second coats and everything on here, but we'll just go back through everything. I started with the free gift with purchase. I can't believe I did that. Um, okay, free gift with purchase over $100 was this Hula Moon. It's called Hey Leon. And um, it says it's a fast drying top coat. And the formula is formulated in a higher viscosity to ensure a smooth and durable finish. Hey Leon bonds to wet polish for a durable finish. Simply add one coat to wet polish, and in less than three minutes, the nails are dry. Has the ability to last up to two weeks. And no, I am not going to test to see if this will last for two weeks. And by that, I mean if you've watched um, a recent video I posted, I did like an eight or nine day experiment um, um, comparing OPI regular line and infinite shine line. So I had that polish on for like eight or nine days and that was enough. So I'm not going to test this to see if it lasts for two weeks. But um, it's called Hey Lay On and Hey Lay is Hawaiian for come or go. So I um, put that over as I was painting these. I put that over all of the polishes over black and I'll do it on the next swatch wheel. I have not started this one yet, so this one will be done live with you guys. But, um, <laughs> can't believe I did that. But um, here are the ones that I've done already. And I will tell you, I don't know if it was three minutes, but it um, does dry very, very quickly. So I'm just gonna go over these without swatching them again. This was um, Crystal Knockout. And this was described as, um, I can't believe it. A uh, light purple jelly base with blue and pink glowing shimmer, silver holographic and white iridescent glitter, and iridescent color shifting flakes in purple, pink, and aqua. This is a gorgeous one. And this is it in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. You can see over black it is <clears throat> very purple and blue looking with those kind of chunkier hollow glitter. This is gorgeous. It's called Dragon Princess Crystal Knockout. And then I went to the LB, which is called Heavenly Golden. And this was described as um, mixed glitter gold hollow topper with gold hollow butterflies. So this is um, Heavenly Golden by LB. You can see in the bottle are those butterflies twinkling there and all their hollow goodness. So here I did it in one coat and I did get a butterfly, but I did have to fish for it for a little while. It, it, they're not very easy to get out. I kind of wish that she had um, included a little baggie of them so you could just sort of place them rather than having to fish for them. And then here it was in two coats painted on a second coat. I did not get a butterfly that time. And I worked to get this butterfly out to put over the black. And again, it did take, you know, a good little bit of fishing to get that out, but it did come out. And I think that they are so cute. And I haven't seen, except for Elby, she had a polish with a silver butterfly. I think that was in December, because this is January's purchase. I think in December, maybe she, or maybe it was this month. I can't remember. I know I bought it, but, um, so this is the gold version, and I know she had a silver version, but she's the only one I've ever seen with the cute little butterfly glitter. So there it is in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. We moved on to Garden Path Lacquer. This one's called Costume Ball, and this was described as a soft ballet pink jelly filled with pink purple shifting aurora shimmer and various sizes of iridescent pink glitter. So here this one is in one coat and two coats and then one coat over black, which really brings out all that pink purpley shimmer. And I was saying when I was not taping <laughs> that I see something else in here. She only mentions pink purple shifting aurora shimmer 
and various sizes of iridescent pink glitter. So I guess the iridescent glitter could change to different colors because I see kind of a green over here in the corner on the black and I see green and gold and I do see different colors kind of twinkling through there, mostly over black, but I see it just a little bit on, it, on the one on its own. So that was uh, Garden Path Lacquer Costume Ball in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. And then I went to this gorgeous one from M&N &M called Wolf Spain. This was described as a purple jelly base with Aurora Shimmer, turquoise blue, purple and green, and um, holographic galaxy silver glitter. So you can see that hollow glitter really twinkling in there and that green shimmer. Um, this is what it looked like over or on its own. This is one coat. See that green shimmer is very strong. And this is two coats. And um, being that it is um, Aurora Shimmer, it does, I do see kind of like a pink shift. And the green is the most prominent, but I do see a pink shift and almost like a, almost blue really gorgeous. And then when I put it over the black, that just really brings out the green. And I do see like a blue on the edges as I move it around a little bit. And then that kind of chunkier hollow glitter just twinkles like crazy. This was called Wolf Spain by m and Lacquer. One coat, two coats, and one coat over black. And then I moved on to Nailed It. And this was called Shadow Ball. And this was um, described as a cool toned pink with a blue leaning indigo aurora and hollow flakes. You see that, you can really see that blue shimmer and this kind of cool pink. And this is what it looks like on the swatch wheel. This is one coat. All these had really excellent formulas. The only thing I would mention was the butterflies that did take some um, fishing but otherwise everything else has had a great formula. But this is costume or um, shadow ball in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. And you can see over black, it really just brings out that blue shimmer that it has. And then the hollow flakes. And this is two coats on its own, really strong shimmer. And then I moved on to night owl lacquer. This one was, I don't appreciate your lack of sarcasm. And this was described as a clear base, glowing with pink, copper, gold, green shifting, large particle shimmer, and teal, blue, purple, red shifting, multi-chrome flakes. Let's see all that goodness going on in the bottle. Very pretty. It's called, I don't appreciate your lack of sarcasm. And here it is in one coat. This says it's in a clear base, but I, it looks like it's in some sort of like a smoky kind of a base. Like I see some sort of, you can see like this would be the color of it if it was clear, but it's kind of like a gray, smoky looking, very light, but um, that will probably help it to build up to opacity possibly. But this is what it looked like in one coat. Here it is in two coats, and I can still see the wheel through there, but a third coat might bring it up to opacity. And then here it is, gorgeous, in one coat over black. And in this one, I really see it's sort of like a burgundy, brown, gold, copper kind of shift going on. And then um, those kind of teal, aqua, um, uh, uh, flakes. I see some blue, green, it's really pretty. So that's what that one looked like over black. So we started here with um, Crystal Knockout. These are the two coats that I'm showing you on me. Oh, I didn't tell you, I told you the first time when I wasn't taping, on my fingers is this LA Colors uh, Color Mania uh, Chaotic. It's on everything. I took it off my index because I have a thermal in here that we still have to show. So that is going to um, go on my index finger but this is a beautiful kind of Wedgwood blue with a really strong pink shimmer. And that's what's been on my nails. All right, back to Crystal Knockout. 
This is, um, I thought it was going to be too sheer to wear on its own, and it might be, but I think everything going on in there, there's shimmer, there's these twinkling glitters, all that stuff, it may help to hide your visible nail line. You may still see a little bit, but this is two coats on the swatch wheel, and I don't really, can't really see through it even in this bright light. And here's um, LB Heavenly Gold. This is two coats, and this is what it looks like, one coat over black with that super cute butterfly. Love that. Garden Path Lacquer Costume Ball. This is two coats on me, one coat over black. Then we moved on to M&N &N, uh, Wolfsbane. This was an Encore polish, so this one would have been um, uh, put up for sale earlier than January. I don't know, I did not look up to see when that was, but sometimes they can come back, polishes can come back as an Encore, which gives you a second opportunity to get them if you missed it the first time around. Otherwise, these polishes are all exclusive to Hella Handmade Creation. Although the brands can also have overpour that they sell, I, I believe they can sell in their shops. So this was Wolfsbane One Coat Over Black. That is so pretty. Then we move to the Nailed It Shadow Ball. It's cool pink with the blue shimmer and One Coat Over Black. And then the um, Night Owl Lacquer. I don't appreciate your lack of sarcasm. Here it is in two coats on me. And then the one coat over black, which is gorgeous. I hope you're seeing how pretty that is. All right. So I am going to test out this three minute dry time. I did it on this first wheel and it really did work, but I will do it now that I'm actually taping. Can't believe I did that. But anyway, um, so this says it will dry your nails in three minutes. So we are going to test that as we go along here. All right. So up next, we have Polish, and this one is called Light Me Up, and it was described as a sheer, deep fuchsia packed with pink copper green flakes and shimmer. So this is definitely jam-packed. Gorgeous. And here it is on the swatch wheel in one coat, both of these. You can see it kind of um, uh, transitioning through those colors, the uh, pink copper. I see a little bit of green in there. So we'll go ahead and do a second coat. Excellent formula. We'll put one coat here over the black. All right. And while that is wet, I'm going to put one coat of this fast drying Hula Moon top coat called Hele on. It was the free gift with purchase in January. If you purchased over $100, I think it is, you get a free gift most months. So we'll put that over all the black ones. That's what I did last time. All right, so here is Light Me Up by Polish in one coat, two coats, which deepens that up very nicely. And then one coat over black, which is really quite fun. It really brings out like a gold or a, let's see, what does she say? Copper and green. It really brings out that coppery color. It's kind of a golden copper. And the pink absolutely shines through on that also. Just a really, really different look when you put it there over the black. So here is Light Me Up in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. All right, up next we have Pepper Polish, and this one is called String Theory. And this was described as a vibrant purple base with turquoise micro flakes, reflective glitter, and a little bit of hollow pigment. I'm not seeing that really in the bottle. I do see that reflective glitter. You 
can see that going through there. And here it is on the swatch wheel in one coat, both of these. Looks to be kind of a cool purple. And then that, um, they had, um, I feel like there's a shimmer in there. She says, purple base with turquoise micro flakes, reflective glitter, and a little bit of hollow pigment. Looks like there's something more in there, but let's go ahead and do our second coat. It's so pretty. I'm still not over reflective glitter. I still, I just love them. And we'll put one coat over black. Putting it over black helps to see what's kind of inside also because it hides any bases. All right. So this is string theory. One coat, two coats, and one coat over black which really brings out like a green shimmer and the green um, flakes. And I do see the um, reflective glitter twinkling in there. And I see, what else do I see? I feel like I see a little pink kind of twinkling a little bit also, but Here is string theory in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black. It's really pretty over black, actually. It's really pretty on its own. It has like this pretty strong green shimmer in there, even though she doesn't mention that. I guess that's part of the turquoise micro flakes, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're super micro flakes. But I do see some bigger little particles also. But anyway, whatever it is, it's very pretty. Let's go ahead and put our top coat on over the black. That'll be good. We can also test to see if it helps to hide the reflective glitter, if it helps to smooth it. If you notice when I, um, after I brush on the top coat, I touch it to my paper towel. I may be doing that off the camera, but that will just, if it does, if the brush at the top coat does happen to pick up any polish, wiping it off on a paper towel before you put it back in the bottle will help to um, not change your top coat different colors. Red is notorious for that. If you ever paint with red and then top coat it and then you don't wipe off your, your brush each time, you might notice that your top coat is turning a little bit pink. And that is from... Um, you know, just a little bit of the polish getting on the brush and then getting dipped back into the clear uh, top coat. Anyway, moving on. Sassy sauce. This is the thermal. This one is called, There's No Place Like Hanging With My Homies. And this was described as a black to red thermal with red glitter pigment and a green, blue, violet shimmer. I see a lot of red in here. That red glitter is really pretty. It almost looks reflective, but I don't think that it quite is. And um, I'm gonna also put this on my index finger, but we'll show you the wheel first. This is what it looks like um, in one coat, both of these. Uh, definitely has that green shimmer with the red glitter. Looks very Christmassy when it's not changing colors with the thermal properties. So let's see. I don't think I have very many sassy sauce polishes. I'm not sure. I may only have a couple of them. So this is a relatively new brand to me. It's been around for a long time. It's not a new brand, just a new brand to me. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this on my index finger. I don't have base coat or anything on. Let's see how this does. All right. Put on very easily. It has a nice wide brush. So I like that. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'll come back and do a second coat on my finger there. 
and um, it should hopefully change colors. I'm just gonna clean this polish off my fingers, driving me batty. All right, so this is uh, Sassy Sauce. There's no place like hanging with my homies without having it be uh, color changing because it's a little bit chilly in here today. This is, I'm guessing, the cold state. Must be kind of more of a black. And um, oh, it says it's a black to red thermal. So I'm guessing that the cold state is probably the darker kind of black color. Although it doesn't really look black, I'm not sure. That green shimmer just really throws it off, but it's gorgeous. It is really pretty, two coats on its own, and it's very pretty with one coat over black. Very Christmassy, like I said, and it's really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and see if I can get a second coat here. All right. And I will go ahead and put this top coat on over the black one here. And I will go ahead and put it right over there. If you can see, I just got a little bit of polish there on the um, brush from painting it on my nail. So if I just put this right back into the bottle, my bottle would start turning colors and wouldn't be clear anymore, which doesn't hurt the top coat. I mean, it's still gonna work as a top coat, but if it does turn kind of pink or something, it would affect, um, you know, lighter color polishes that you would happen to wear. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. It says three minutes, so Let's see, I'm gonna check it in a couple minutes and then I have some water here. If it is still warm and cold, I will dip my fingers in there also. All right, that was Sassy Sauce. Up next, we have Wetcha Indie Polish. And this one is called Aquarius. And this was described as a shimmery blue pink base with flakies. And so I'm guessing the base is blue and then it has this pink shimmer, a lot of pink shimmer. And then kind of, well, the shimmer, I see gold too and I see green, blue. It's definitely a shifting shimmer. All right. At least in the bottle, it's a shifting shimmer. So here that one is in one coat, both of these. It's kind of similar to the color I'm wearing, a little bit lighter, but um, very pretty. One coat, excellent formula there. Go ahead and do our second coat. It's definitely deepening up that color. And we'll throw a coat here over black. love putting these polishes over black. It just really, really changes them up and just gives you such a different look. So here, see that pink shimmer on this one in two coats? So gorgeous. And then there's just a few flakes in there. It's not overcome with flakes. Just a few to add a little bit of fun and, uh, you know, interest. This is Wetcha Aquarius in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black, which really just gives it that pink shimmer and then like a gold shift, kind of coppery gold shift, and then the few flakes that are in there are twinkling kind of green and gold and pink. Really, really pretty. I like that one, gorgeous. I don't remember if I gave you the bottle shot, so I'll just do it. All right, last up, we have, oh, let me put my top coat on, this one. Put that right on there. Let's go back and look at one of these first ones. It's probably, it's been more than three minutes. 
All right, so this is absolutely dry. Like I am touching it, I am rubbing hard. And it is dry, it's smooth. Well, the polish is smooth anyway. Yeah, so here's the reflective glitter. Listen. Let's see, you can hear. That one has no sound because it's smooth. A little bit of sound because there is just, a, it's not that bad. The one coat is worse than the two coats. Um, so it is just a little bit bumpy. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That is really quite amazing. It is perfectly dry and it is really, really smooth. That is quite an amazing top coat, I have to say. Um, here is the uh, Sassy Sauce. It's also pretty smooth on its own. It's still a little bit tacky, so we're gonna wait on that one. Let's see. It's still a little tacky on my finger also. All right, last polish I have to show you is by Zombie Claw, and this is called Disaster Date. And this was described as a light purple base with gold, violet shimmer, and black flakies. See that shimmer, you can see the black flakes. I'm not always a fan of black flakes. I feel like sometimes um, it just makes the polish look a little bit dirty, depending, I don't know, just sometimes it does and sometimes I just love it. So this is an occasion where I really just love it. So this is um, Disaster Date in One Coat, both of these. Very smooth, very nice. And we will do our second coat. Here. Goes on really nicely. It's really deepening that up. And then we'll put one coat over black, which probably won't do too, too much. All right. So this is Disaster Date in one coat, two coats, and one coat over black, which really, it blackens it up a little bit, especially like around the edges and stuff. I can tell it's a little bit darker, but it's not that much different than two coats on its own. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty one too. So that was called Disaster Date by Zombie Claw. One coat, two coats, and one coat over black. So while I give my index finger a little bit more time to dry, let's see, we started off here with the polish and it looks a little bit sheer, but um, not too, too bad. That would be a pretty one to, to um, um, put over like maybe a hot pink or a purple. And here it is, one coat over black. And we moved on to the pepper pot, or pepper polish, I'm sorry, pepper polish. And there it is in two coats, really pretty, that reflective glitter in one coat over black. Moved on to the Sassy Sauce, which is a thermal, it's a little cold in here, so it's not changing, it's not even changing on me, I think my finger is too cold. Hopefully my water is still, um, still hot and cold, we'll see. Um, but here is Sassy Sauce, uh, there's no place like hanging with my homies. In two coats on its own, one coat over black. And then we moved on to Whatcha Indie Polish Aquarius. This is also a bit sheer. You probably see a visible nail line. That would also be very pretty to layer over um, coordinating blue, maybe a gray. And here it is, one coat over black. That's very pretty. And then the Zombie Claw Disaster Date. It doesn't look too much different, one coat or two coats, or I mean two coats or one coat over black. So let's go back and look at some of these. So the polish was dry already. The pepper polish is dry. Sassy is now dry. Um, the Wacha is a little bit tacky. I don't know how long it's been since I've done that one, but it's, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard and it's not changing. Let's see, on my index, feels very dry. I wouldn't quite trust it to like 
you know, wash my hair or something, but uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this thermal to change. So this is warm water. It was hot when I started, but this is warm. And that did darken it up a little bit, I think. Here's cold, let's see. Oh, I think warm was supposed to lighten it up. So I don't see too much of a change. This is not very warm though kind of room temperature. Yeah, I'm not noticing really any change. Let me see. Maybe I didn't shake it enough. Let's just see. I have one other. Shake it really good. Let me just see if this is just not going to work. Or if it's just user error, which is probably what it is. Oh, I'm not doing that on the camera. I'm just putting a coat on an empty slot here on my wheel. Let's see if we dunk these in. On those, it's not changing at all. I don't have hot, hot water though. It is lukewarm, it's kind of room temperature. Let's just see. It's a little cold here in my house. Well, I ruined it because it wasn't dry, but I'm not seeing any change. All right, well. Not sure about the thermal properties with that one because I'm not seeing any change. But anyway, let's get the camera turned around and we're gonna finish this up. All right, so that was my Hella Handmade Creation January um, 2024 purchase. Um, Hella Handmade Creation opens on the 14th of every month at uh, 1201 midnight Eastern time. Um, so here on the uh, West Coast, it opens on the 13th at 9 p.m. So we get to shop a little easier than those people that have to get up at midnight. But um, a lot of times there are caps to the polish and so you um, could have things selling out. But anyway, I'm very happy with all of these polishes. I think they're all really, really beautiful. I don't think there's one that I would say, why did I buy that? Let me look through and just make sure. Nope, I think I like them all. They're all keepers. Anyway, I can't believe that I taped for one whole swatch wheel without having the video going. Who does that? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully I said everything the second time around that I wanted to say, but sorry about that. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, uh, thanks so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me. At least it probably made the video shorter, so that's probably uh, not a bad thing, but thanks for stopping by. Let me know in the comments if, uh, you know, what do you think of Hella Handmade Creations? I, I kind of like these col collab boxes or collab websites, whatever they are, that uh, you can purchase so many different makers from all at once with one shipping charge. Um, I like that because I can try new brands. I can, you know, revisit some old favorites. And uh, yeah, I think that's just a really fun thing to just get this um, package in the mail with all these different brands, all these beautiful polishes. So I kind of really like that polish pickup and hella handmade and uh, little box of horrors, polished gamers box. There's quite a few of them now, but um, I do enjoy those. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Let me know in the comments what you think of collab boxes and what you think of any of these polishes that I purchased and that I swatched for you. And um, let me know how silly I am to tape half the video without taping it. And uh, oh, I don't know. Anyway. 
thank you so much for stopping by and until next time bye bye all right i just wanted to do an update on this um sassy sauce here it is on the wheel in um one coat two coats and one coat over black and this is pretty much the uh, cold stage. Here's some cold water. Let's dip that in. So that's about what it looks like in the cold state. And then here I've got some hot water. The water during my video just wasn't hot enough. It had been too long. So there's what it looks like in the hot state. It's a bit more pink than red. But, uh, let's see, there it is, kind of half and half. So, it does work. It was just my water was not hot enough when I was testing it in the video there. So, here's hot. So yeah, definitely works. Just wanted to uh, do that quick update and show you guys.